So as some of you might be aware, I will be turning 21 soon. My birthday is on August 15th and I wanted to use my 21st birthday to do something positive. Those of you that know me in real life or follow me on social media probably know that I dealt with a really complicated situation where I wasn't able to choose my own insurance at the beginning of this year. I ended up getting lucky and everything got resolved, but I know that there's probably still people out there that are dealing with the same situation that I dealt with and I know that there's people that will probably deal with that situation in the future and I don't think that it's okay. I think that every legal adult should have the ability to choose their own insurance because different insurance plans have different benefits. Some young people are completely fine with a catastrophic plan that doesn't really cover very many things. But other people might have more serious chronic health conditions and they might want to get on a health insurance plan that covers a lot of the services that they might need. I'm not going to go into the full story of the situation that happened to me, but if you want to learn a little bit more about what happened, I'll link my previous videos about the situation down below. But basically, my mom, who I haven't spoken to since I was 18, used my social security number and put me on her health insurance without telling me. I wasn't notified by the insurance company or the benefits department at my mom's work. I didn't even know that I was on her insurance until I went to CVS and tried to pick up a prescription. And I was told that my dad's insurance that I previously used in January was no longer my primary. I was very confused. I didn't want to use my mom's insurance for my own personal reasons. So I just left the pharmacy empty handed and I called the insurance company and I spoke to multiple customer service people there and they said that there was nothing that I could do. Then I contacted the benefits department at my mom's work and they also said they couldn't take me off my mom's insurance because open enrollment had ended. At that point, I was dealing with a pretty bad allergic reaction on my hands. So I just went to a clinic and paid for an appointment and paid for a prescription. So for a little while, I was just paying for everything out of pocket because I didn't really know what to do. And then eventually I made a video about the situation and I tweeted it to my representatives and Evan Lowe reached out to me. And with the help of some people at his district office, I was able to file an expedited complaint with the Department of Insurance. Then I waited a few weeks and I got a letter from them saying that my complaint was being forwarded to the Department of Employee Benefits Security Administration. Then I waited another few weeks and I got a response from them and they told me that my request to be removed from my mom's insurance had been denied. Everyone that was helping me at Evan Lowe's district office really tried to solve this for me and they really tried to explain my situation to these different departments but apparently the people at the Department of Insurance and Department of Employee Benefit Security cared more about following the rules than my own health and rights. So after I'd been denied by the only two California departments that could have probably helped me, after that I didn't really know what to do because the only thing I could think of was to go to court. I'm just a college student so I don't exactly have money for a lawyer. So after that I got a member of the press involved and they contacted my mom's work and United Healthcare on my behalf. And once again, they said that they couldn't do anything. They were in contact with my mom's work for quite a few weeks and they eventually said that my mom didn't work at that company anymore. So at that point, I realized that I might not be on my mom's health insurance anymore. So I called the insurance company and I confirmed that with them and I was able to get on my dad's Aetna plan and I was finally able to make an appointment at an allergy clinic. And I'll be going there for an allergy test on July 19th. So everything kind of ended up working out for me, but this was honestly one of the most stressful and complicated situations that I've ever had to deal with in my adult life. I was going to school and going to work while all of this was happening and it honestly really took a toll on me. I've had to deal with a lot of complicated situations in the past, but I was under the impression that these sorts of things wouldn't happen to me when I was a legal adult. Everyone at the district office and my friends and family were all extremely supportive and helpful throughout this process, but the insurance company, the people at the government departments, and the people who worked at the benefits department of my mom's work didn't really understand or respect my decisions. Like I said before, everything ended up working out for me, but I just really don't want anyone to ever have to go through this again. Some of us don't have supportive parents. Some of us don't have parents who have our best interests in mind. Some of us feel the need to cut ties with a parent who isn't adding anything positive to our life. I know that there's some people out there who just can't understand why anyone would ever stop talking to a family member. And I'm not asking for them to completely understand why we make the decisions we do. I'm just asking for them to respect our decisions. I'm not completely against the 26 rule. I think the young adult should be able to be on their parents' insurance because I know that the 26 rule has helped a lot of young people get access to health insurance. But the key phrase there is be able to. I think that young adults should be able to be on their parents' insurance but I don't think that they should have to be. I think that legal adults should have to sign some sort of consent form to be put on their parents' insurance. This is all that I want for my 21st birthday. So if you wanna help me make this happen, check out the link to my Rally Starter page in the description, or you can share this video with my representatives. Their contact information will be down below. And if you can think of anyone else who might be able to help with this, feel free to contact them as well. Thank you all so much for supporting me. I really hope that we can make this happen. And I'll see you all very soon with a new video. Goodbye.